got the, got the, got the. This was just a quick video update 24 months post relaxer just to kind of and I cut them in December and I think they were to my lip and now they are um, so that's just retention it's not that it's growing fast I did like a measurement off camera um, and they're pretty much, I think, about 10 inches, 10 and a half inches um, all around. Wait, let me do a quick um, left check. And this area is the area that I always talk about that I have issues with my crowns to um, relax the first. So when I started my relaxer process, I would part my hair in four and I'd always put the product on my scalp at that point first. And what I realized was during my transition, this hair was the um, most damaged. It was quite short, broken off, and I also believe I might have some scab here up here. Like, it looks as though it's about um, a full 11 inches, pretty much all around. Um, and I'll do a quick side. So I guess it grows about a half an inch a month because I'm 24 months now um, post relaxer. So that for me. No matter how fast or slow it grows, I mean, healthy hair is my goal, and um, healthy hair is my is my objective. Um, of course, I want um, you know that long, beautiful, healthy hair, um, but I'm I'm okay waiting as long as it's healthy on its way there. Oh my gosh, it's not as easy as it looks, y'all. So I think the back does grow a little faster than the front of my hair, but but yeah, I just wanted to do like a quick um, lamp check. I've never done an official one on my channel, um, but I do. The reason why I did decide to go ahead and do it is it may be inspiring for others who are in the process of transitioning or just big chopped. What to expect when you hit 24 months? Everyone is different. Um, emotionally, I just am overwhelmed, overjoyed that I no longer am a slave to the weave, to the, but I used to be a slave to them. I didn't feel beautiful without it or without long hair. And um, yeah, so this journey has completely transformed the way I think about um, long hair and what beauty is. And so yeah, my, my definition of beauty has completely changed. On the emotional aspect, 
um, I'm more accepting of myself and the length of my hair is and I don't feel inadequate I don't feel less than I don't feel like I need to go run out and buy um, a long weave to make myself feel beautiful Actually, physically um, I feel more healthier more stronger not just because I'm on a healthy hair journey no chemicals but I'm on a healthy lifestyle journey working out um, every day doing high intensity cardio weights um, drinking plenty of water, eating more healthier things from the earth. Um, so on the physical aspect, I've been doing changing things in my life. Um, I'm not the best. I still eat cookies and I still eat my curry goat, my oxtail, my dal and roti. All you West Indian people out there, you know, I keep it. I keep it 100, but I try to be healthier on the things that I put in my body and that I give my kids. Um, and appearance wise just the whole cosmetic of it i just feel so much prettier actually and that's ironic because i didn't feel pretty unless i had weave oh. you know, i hope this video is helpful and inspiring to those of you who are transitioning and those of you who actually care about my hair journey and thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey it's not over yet girls so let's keep it going